who had to go through the nook and cranny, the villages, the hamlets, everywhere in this country had to be there. And to you were sell visiting some of these areas for the first time. For the first time, in fact, it was it was it was a real experience. Mm -hmm. I must say, you know, we went very far, very far. Sometimes in the midst of nowhere, where sometimes you could see very wild animals. Mm. I'm telling you, at a point you we had. Scared? To I was not scared because you know we had lots of security. You had, yeah. I mean, lots of people around <laughs> us. Well, if a lion shows up, security. What can security really do? There was a time <laughs> that just gun it down. there was a time that <laughs> our vehicle were traveling in mm. had a flat tire, and because we were in a convoy, we couldn't um, catch up. Catch up, and you see, we had to wait and fix our tire. <laughs> Here was us, uh, myself, Daniel, uh, the cameraman. I was, I'll give a lot of credit to. And then the driver and some other journalists with us. The convoy came past us, <laughs> and there was no village anywhere, nothing. I couldn't see any inscription. We were in the middle of nowhere, and I got a bit scared. On two occasions, we had to. You, you know, missed your mommy. Ah, well, yeah. my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> she knows I'll be safe, you know. Yeah. And so it was. It was a, a real experience, and we had to fix our tie. I mean, get on board again, try and catch them up and stuff. So. It, it was a good experience. So you've learned even a lot. It was a bit, uh, what, what did you learn about Nane Kufuado that some of us on the other side do not know? Nane Kufuado comes across as somebody who, who is very much endearing. Unfortunately, in the public domain, he has a lot of vilification and stuff. But if you get closer to him, you realize that this is somebody who would even call you when he sees you. Before, before you call him, he will call you. There was, a, there was a time we were going to um, um, Tamale when the vice president, the former vice president, passed. These on. pictures are your, from you. This is Tamale. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And then when I got into the plane, mm -hmm. he was on a plane with the with his wife already. Mm -hmm. When he saw me, he tapped me. Mm -hmm. This is a, somebody who's aspiring to be president. Yeah. It's big, you know. Naturally, so there was some humility. There was that's, that's a lot of humility. That's mm -hmm. the word. A lot of it. And I got close to him. I mean, there were times we had to meet him, and then he would speak to us. We'd drink together. we laugh over a lot of things. I mean, his experience. Mm. I sat with him. We drank together. It was a good experience well, having to know <laughs> soft drinks, of course. At <laughs> the time that, you know, other, other journalists were drinking, you know, um, hard liquor. And mm. he asked me, why? <laughs> They're bad company. Mm -hmm. He was drinking a soft drink to us, well. Mm. So um, I was surprised to come that close to him and to know that he has a lot of humility fantastic now we'll come back to you later to talk to you about your coverage you covered the eastern and central region, central region. Oh, that was a lot of work exactly yes traveling between the two regions was was quite stressful okay uh, i'm a official police officer <laughs> Bridget, yeah. how was that in the Western Region? You are from the Western Region, so nothing new to you. Mm. You know the, the area, you know the region very well, too well. I, I know the. So, no lata playing, Ambalata. No, 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 Ambalata. I'm the Caribbean, no, no, no. Um, yeah, I know, especially, I mean, the capital, Saganita, because that's where I grew up. But um, uh, when it comes to going to Jomora, Gona, Axim, those areas, I didn't know much. But of course, I knew the way to, because, I mean, I've gone to Takwa and beyond, Bogosu and all that. So I knew that. Mm. So um, it was quite a very, it was a very quiet uh, region. And it was expected, really. And it's a region that has, like they keep saying, it's a swing region. But when you talk about the second Itakwadi, it's dominated by the NPP. So, I mean, wherever you went, you'd see NPP. You hardly see even NDC. But I think they did very well in the elections. So, um, yeah, it was very quiet. I mean, I kept saying it was very, very quiet, very peaceful. And we didn't have much problems, except the first day. Because I kept worrying her. That, Bridget, don't you have news? Um, and she said, it's so quiet here. There is no news. Yeah. I remember I joked about people are not picking anything to fly. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it was extremely quiet. Uh, what I found exciting was the aged, mm -hmm. 110 man. He, he, he came, he couldn't walk, so he came with his two grandsons, mm -hmm. helped him, because he couldn't walk. But he said, look, I want to cast my vote. So long as I'm alive, I would keep doing that. And That's one, cool. yeah, and it's quite deceitful when you go to the strongholds of the NPP. I went to Shama, and a lot of the polling stations I visited, I, I concluded that These the are NDC... These from the Western region you yeah, brought to e us? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And I concluded that the NDC uh, MP had lost. Mm -hmm. you know, in my mind, I didn't put that on it. I thought 
everybody had lost. But I realized that the areas I had visited were NPP uh, strongholds. Mm -hmm. Then they started bringing in his stronghold. That was Abuasi, Abazi, and all that. And eventually the man won. But when you listen to what was going on around and he would lose, the man was losing. In fact, all the votes. And the difference were huge mm -hmm. until they started bringing in. I was like, okay, it depends on where you are. The dynamics are very really different. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. But we have more of these pictures you will be seeing exclusively on Sunday. Uh, that's uh, the notebook. It's at 12 p.m. Yeah, right. 12. And you are the presenter. I hope you'll be up watching. Uh, <laughs> I, I have a sleep deficiency. I, I know, I know. I, know. I <laughs> have a this week, you know. I, I mean, we kept testing yes. each other. I'm like, I have a lot of steps. catching up to do. You, 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 um, you three should put your per diem together. Take me to the Bahamas or something. Honestly, I need it. <laughs> Come on, what's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> right, so you see the you see all the exclusive pictures and more interviews with our reporters on Sunday. Notes book uh, to be presented by Bridget herself here. Let's come to you. You were here with us in Accra. He was the, the Rover reporter. The, <laughs> yes, there were times I needed him. I was sitting here. I wanted a drink. Where is Komla? Oh, Komla is at Nadmo. What's up? <laughs> well, um, I think that um, we did quite well in uh, the covering of this election we had planned for everything and um, putting everything on paper then drawing um, how or where exactly we would be so I mean if there's a breaking news mm -hmm. somewhere you're not far away you have to get it and I remember there were times that uh, my two bosses Henry, Henry and, and Robert. Robert will call you and you know their usual way of doing it oh, I know, I know. to shout on you I, I quite remember oh, okay they didn't shout on you <laughs> they gave you pressure well I mean <laughs> that's that that's suspected but uh, you you would realize that we give viewers everything they needed right from day one that the uh, the eve of the election and um, the pictures that they needed regarding the areas that had uh, violence, uh, so to speak, we had those exclusives as well. Mm. I remember the issue of Natmo. I was somewhere around uh, Nungwa, and then I was called by Henry that there's something so you happening. Had to rush over there. I, and in less than 10 minutes, we were there. I was surprised how we even got there in 10 minutes. And the next thing was that Did we were live on air. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what exactly happened. <laughs> the following day, the issue of the Joel came in. I remember you called me. I My phone was with me. I was in the heat of the declaration. I didn't hear. The next thing I saw was the other phone was ringing and my boss was calling me. They are calling your phone and you will not pick up. Move to Joel right now. When I saw you sent me a test as well. So we had to get um, all those issues and all, all those exclusives. Then again, getting to the electoral commission. Last we'll come night. to that from yeah. yesterday. Mm -hmm. But I think all the reporters did excellently well. But your cameramen were fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Did you want to tell us about your cameraman? Stephen Lighty was, was great. I mean, he decided on where we had to take the live coverage, the links that we had with the backpack. Mm. Stephen, you tell Stephen, okay, can we do it here? Or just sit back and say, no, I don't think that I'll get, you know, a good background. So it was a teamwork. It was a teamwork, you know, and Stephen was was fantastic. I mean, we were at um, a lot of places where you had, you know, very, very nice background. Mm -hmm. For instance, at a point we were at in Tin, and this is a very busy street on the um, street of um, the central region. It was located somewhere in Cape Coast, mm -hmm. and it was Stephen's idea for us to go to a busy street and. We got very nice sound bites over mm. there. We're also at the uh, symbol of the Ogwa State. You could see that crab. Yeah. And then the, 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 the popular one, the London Bridge, which I was surprised. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd heard about the London, London Bridge. London Bridge. Yeah, you were telling me that he was so disappointed. He said, ah, are you serious at all? I was disappointed. <laughs> you were disappointed. Here was this bridge. Everybody so small, gets disappointed. Yet lots of history. London Bridge. London Please, Bridge. Please, welcome to my town, uh -huh. Cape Coast. <laughs> no, but Do you have London seriously, Bridge? Seriously, when you well. mentioned London Bridge, uh, you know, I, I don't have, I never had really any fun. idea about London Bridge. So when he mentioned London uh -huh. Bridge, before the pictures came, you know, his voice was already on So, so I was thinking, ah, why, is he in the UK or where? <laughs> <laughs> and then I saw this his guy. So we have London Bridge. London Bridge. Bridge. Well, you should yeah. check out the Liverpool Street in Cape Coast. Huh? <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, well, we also have a Chelsea but are Street. But are you so? But we have Good Morning. York. Okay. We have a Chelsea Street. You have a Chelsea Street in Hull. Yes. Okay, I'm yet to see that one. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then you had um, some very good sound men as well. 
I mean, long and short, your technical crew, very good. Of course, um, Samuel Adam was very good. He was efficient. He was the one operating the backpack. And, then, and he would insist that you do your voice checks. He would insist that you stand well. He would insist that you are well mic'd. He would insist that you hold the microphone. It's definitely way that would ensure that the, the TV3 logo, logo show. will show, of course. you know. Right. Someone that was great. Oh, your technical crew. So, uh, any um, any headache? So I would say no at all. Mm. I thought, oh god, I was relieved. Uh, we'll get out of the kind of say. Um, so I want this choice. Oh, I've already taken it. You know, sometimes he made me the best. No, seriously, he did so well. And because we didn't have a backpack, and he made sure we got all the shots that we wanted. And there was this day, you know, Takwa that I kept saying that was quiet. But the day of the counting of the second year constituency uh, votes. It took us from 7 p.m. till 5.30 a.m. And had never seen anything like that. Papa was talking about screaming, shouting, Captain Kujo. Mm. And I thought, oh, my God, this is so like a cry. So quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, my God. So that was the first happened. action in the West. I was so excited, you know, so quickly. We needed to find an extra chip because we were f filming. And I didn't want to use the internet because of the quality yeah. of the visual. So I sent it 5 a.m. As soon as we got the visual, I said, this has to go to Accra. We found yeah. a bus, paid someone, and said, please take it to Accra. And then yeah. they brought it. So that, that was quite exciting yeah, to see. Yeah, from my experience so well. of covering um, elections all the time you are tainted in a certain picture you are either NDC because even when we were here some people will send messages on Twitter and Facebook and about you are NDC others will send and about you are NPP and I'm asking myself do I know myself at all? <laughs> It looks like everybody knows which party. I in the last know, report that I did yeah. in, the, in the central region, you uh -huh. had people calling a hotline saying that your reporter had to ask certain questions. But I thought that I was doing well and I was asking the right questions. Yeah. Unfortunately, but it, didn't, well it didn't suit them. Exactly. So you were thought to so belong to the other exactly. side. Exactly. So it was I, quite confusing I, I, having to with me, report on a very balanced note. Yeah. But all in well, it was it was with good. Yeah. I mean, with me, my tops. There were several people on my social media mm. page, Twitter, and then Facebook. Trust me, it was it was so much about me being NDC, and then at a point in time being MPP. being MPP, it was it was so some ways. But I I always said to myself that we work for God and country. Exactly. We would report it as it is. And when when for instance yesterday uh, we had a scoop of what was going in there between the Peace Council, yeah. the parties, and then the EC. I pasted it on my Facebook page, and I can't remember somebody passed a comment, and I, I just laughed, and I said, well, that's yeah. your opinion about us. But trust me, going back to Why the issue... Why wouldn't they say that we are CPP or PNC? Or PPP? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but going back to the issue of the, the technicians, I, 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 would, I would want to use this opportunity. I started working with Gordon and then Awate before they left uh, for the oh, regions, right. and these two gentlemen helped so much, especially at the... Um, uh, final Congress or the final rally of the NDC. We were there working. The feed was live, and then all of a sudden, everything went off. My battery had run down. Mm -hmm. We didn't even know until calls were coming to my phone. Your offer, your offer, your offer, and I was like, oh, we didn't even know. There was mm -hmm. so much noise. So they did quite well. Then coming back to the election proper, uh, my cameraman boy and uh, uh, tear floss. Yes, I can't leave. There were times that we fought on the field, not f physical fighting though. But I remember at Odododio when we spent the whole night coming back at uh, 5.30 a.m. The results being declared for Neil and Tim Van der Poel and all that. At the point after 12.30 a.m. when we had information of one polling station at the Salaga market where they were voting, we were right there on time to get it. So. So the, the, the crew did quite a wonderful day. Even our drivers, my driver, for instance, Peter Sari, there were times that I had to shout on him and tell him, It's normal. Please. Take me, that is, normal. That is what I want. You take I mean, me. Well, I thought my driver was, was a bit too <laughs> slow when starting the journey. You wanted him to speed up. My, yeah. my driver was but, 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 slow, but, but, I, but, but at the end, I think he was good. Top gear. He was good because we're traveling very late uh -huh. in the evening mm. and you had to slow down just to make sure you see your visuals and okay. everything. But, you were just but being a reporter. You wanted your I'm news fast. You, I'm telling you. He was right. good. He was good. Okay. Ike is his name. Okay. Now, let's talk about the voting process itself too many spoiled ballots as you were on the <laughs> ground and then yeah, the way they were you. collating the results and then the numbers for the rejected ballots kept going up what were you thinking about the ncc i i was surprised mm -hmm. and i think that it's about time that we give the ncc some 
some real funding and backing. Funding and backing. Sure. But I'm talking about the fact that we had to chastise them to ensure that we don't get a lot of spoiled ballot. I mean, we have come very far. We've had elections. How many times? More than six times. You see? And then you continue to have spoiled ballot. What went wrong? And even when you go to the polling stations, the um, agents who are working on the papers do well to fold the paper for you in a way that you be compelled to fold in the same direction mm -hmm. and still you go ahead and get you know spot ballots but i can say for a fact that last year's um uh, you know ballots that were spot were, were even more than this year's yeah, if you check years. your records you mean last but four years exactly i mean last four years mm -hmm. yeah. the last election. yes the last election so i i i I cannot fathom why, you know, for, for, for us in Ghana here, we continue to have a lot of sports or ballots. It's, yeah. It really beats my imagination. Yeah. You were giving me your experiences. Yeah. People were like printing. The back of the paper, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I must say that I, I witnessed the account of the security, the early voters, and there wasn't a single sports ballot. It was they, it was excellent. Now when I would, when I witnessed the education, you know they have the NCC, they had this how to vote, and yeah. I thought that people know is I was thinking. Then I went to Shamal constituency, young boy, eighteen year old boy, first time, uh, first oh, time yeah. voter, excited, you know, with his auto fista swag. I'm like, okay, yeah, I witness. The boy took the thing, put his thumb on the ink pad. <laughs> And that's it. He put it. That's all. That's all. And I was like, oh my God. Amazing. He, Amazing. Thumbprints. he just put his ink pad is on. He's voted and he folded the paper. So I, 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 I told the person, I don't think the boy voted. They opened it and they said, oh, okay. He went back and he said, okay, how, does, how does he do it? The, a woman came in. She didn't. They just put their ink pad and they go away. There were instances where um, some dropped their ID cards in the ballot, in the ballot box and took their ballot paper home. Yes. And there was one instance where <laughs> somebody, uh, where we go, I think it was somewhere around Ablekuma South or so, uh, the person was going to vote and picked the presidential. That's the first. Mm -hmm. year of, yes. So he went through that process. Then with the parliamentary, he went and placed the ballot paper inside the box mm -hmm. of the presidential presidential of another polling station sure. you know the oh. polling station was one yeah. by the way the a and B. Yeah. yeah so it was at a point of counting that they realized that uh, what what they had was actually more than it then they realized from the from other side the other that side. they got short of one Oh, but, I, but I think that was people that was too counted. Are, are that was counted our, our as nervous when it comes to voting. voting. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Because you realize that here you are, you come to pick your um, ballot to go and cast your vote, and everybody will be on you, Look all good. eyes on you, and you have to go around one step, two steps. So you become a bit nervous when you are going to vote. So I think that's the reason. So it's about time that we 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 pump enough, you know, confidence in our people that voting is just a process. So people look towards and, and, and I think that, 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 that oh, oh, yes. oh a lot of them were nervous, really. I, I, were, I you felt I felt quite uncomfortable when I was going to vote at the Ministry of Information and then you know the policeman was not far away from the the polling area so i was vote i was holding my phone so i didn't know whether he thought i was going to take a picture of what i was voting so for you so were nervous. i was not nervous but his look at me i was like why is this man looking at me okay. i'm sure other people might have suffered he was probably same. not even thinking about uh, you for all you know, yeah. you know but I, there was something else some two wanted people to know who they voted for a man walked in right the polling station very yeah. grown, grown up he he asked he, he asked the young man to help him vote now when they were going he acted like he's blind i said no 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 why do you call me to come and help you right interesting <laughs> but on sunday notebook on midday you're going to have more of these interviews with reporters and uh it's been very nice having all of you before we wrap up i'm going to defy babina's orders what was your your most memorable experience for this election wow well a memorable i think every occasion that you know occurred uh, it was memorable to me um having to do with the fact was that there a point in time where you said yes i did this yeah, staying up all night, well, not taking a shower. Thank you very much. I really. couldn't believe it. Two days. Staying up, staying up all back. night. <laughs> on election day, <laughs> Nanaba. <laughs> on election day. <laughs> on election day. Yes. We had to report way into 
the night. Yes. And Aroma had oh. to sleep in the vehicle and come over to check on the result all the time. And I slept at my, my 4 a.m. 4 a.m. And I, I woke up <laughs> 6 a.m. Two hours of sleep. Fantastic. Let's come for yours. Your most memorable, including the shower. Including the shower. Wow, most memorable. That's. It, it'll be very hard because I think I had quite a number of them. Quite a number. But I think um, going all the way to uh, Ahimakrum, a very remote area, yeah. and I was extremely scared, but I was glad that Charlie, I stood there for some 30 minutes and yeah. we got the shot we wanted and we came back. Okay, how about you? Uh, Several of them, but I think that's the issue of the bathing. <laughs> and that one, don't go there. <laughs> yeah, but um, the most memorable um, was last night. Yeah. For me, the live pictures. So, how many you weren't having days without a, a shower? <laughs> you want me to tell you? Yes, please. Three days. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, you know what I didn't say that. Oh my but God. I was saying, you know, <laughs> when we got exclusive, with the I hear in Jowulu when the father tell us you were somewhere around. I was coughing. Honestly, it was a African region hotel. It was a bad experience. I won't lie about <laughs> no, that. No, no, I think I did the, the same thing. thing. I did the, the same spray. thing. Was it was your eye? Yes, it did. And what I was, was like? coughing. On it. I didn't even realize I was coughing on it. I hear you. Get, you fell into a ditch. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, you did. You were covered on camera. When the whole incident with the Papa uh, Usankman came up and they, you know they had to show Papa Usankman, so yeah. while they were showing, you know, the journals they were filming, yeah. and stuff, I was scared. So I was like, oh my god, I was, I was like, oh no, don't worry. Yeah, I'm fine. Fine. <laughs> I said, <"I'm> fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So but let's, let's, let's give you tell us your experience. Yeah, let's let's do my experience. Go ahead. I'm gonna tell you on when Sunday. Was, I know. Oh, yeah, she's I was, I was on Sunday. Sunday. I remember when she she passed the night in the audio room. What we do the voice over. Mm -hmm. You know, yesterday actually, you know, she she she, she wasn't. Sick. Hey, okay, all of you, shh 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 shh. Hey, you're taking your short break now. Roland Walker, he was yeah, Roland. Roland, what are you doing? I was sleeping on it. Right. Roland was very sweet. That would be.